My ex started a whole relationship while we're still dating. And to top it off, it was with another guy. Bruh. I win. Impregnated another girl, bro. I have cheated on my boyfriend with his brother. Oh. One, two, check, check, one. What do you do, babies? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another video. We are finally back with the video that we last spoke about in our previous video. So this video is gonna be on worst thing that an ex has ever done to you before we get into this video if you are new to this channel thank you so much for tuning in make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video and make sure to also get something to snack on make sure to get something to drink to sip on because this video is gonna be really really long and juicy of course so we are gonna share our experiences yes lastly like after yes. all your responses we'll share what um, the worst thing that an ex has done to us, us. oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe to our other channel. channel link is always in the description below it's always down here these are in no specific order we are just reading out and if maybe we have left out one there are really a lot of responses yeah so True. please do forgive us if we left out your response it's not on purpose yes. yeah. so the first one okay. is <laughs> Woo! my ex dm me asking me back then after his new girlfriend found out he lied and said i was the one who started this shit I mean, she even called me. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I feel like this is a typical one. It's always like that. Next response. Mine was when I was in grade 12. He ghosted me for like a month when he came back. I officially broke up with him. But him being a jerk, decided to play sorry so I would give him another chance. Which I did. Of course you oh did. Oh my gosh. They <laughs> always come back. Ooh, worst mistake of your life. Just for him to break up with me. Could he was never done before and it wasn't going to start with me. <laughs> Could <Congrats. you> <laughs> <laughs> Worst thing my ex girlfriend has done to me was made me pay four hundred and fifty for her nails. Turns out she used it to pay for a guest house with some nigger. Bruh. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you ask me for money then you use the money to spend it on some other person, bruh? To pay for a guest house even Yo. Yeah, sure. next one he cheated on me he lied a lot impregnated another girl bro oh my word lied about that too Woo. hi for my guy but yeah eventually everything came to light and i removed myself from the whole situation broke up with him good for you girl Aww. good for you he don't deserve you for you shit. You don't deserve you, sis. My ex started arguing while on the Western Vipers and I told him to stop the car. He did and I stormed out of the car and homeboy left me there alone. And he went home and slept. Bro. <laughs> you people <laughs> really do. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 guys, I thought I went through the most, but yeah, yeah. And then mm -mm. come a western vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Even on a highway, highway bro. Who leaves a person on a highway, bro? He told me that I don't make him feel like a man when I don't follow his small, small, stupid rules he gave oh me God. in the relationship. Oh wow! <laughs> I, I think we can all relate to this one. Relate. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about men. Some, Some men, men really yeah. feel like they have to. No, no, no. Do this. Control you. Do control do you. No. You. No. no. I'm a person of my own. No. Don't do that. He introduced me as a cousin mm -hmm. to his so-called girlfriend. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, You're the lover. The yeah. lover, bro. Yeah. But wait, my only question is like if you're introducing me live live bruh like I'm standing right here in your go 
Me, your cat. Me. No. Maybe y'all are really calm. I would love to see somebody <laughs> try me, calling me the act. Ah, uh, uh, that is not okay. Bro. Yeah, no. Like, ah, uh, no. Next response. We agreed to see each other on a specific day. I was staying in Sokop and he was staying in Valvers. So when I drove all the way to Valvers, she wasn't picking up my calls. Until today, I never spoke to that girl again. She still kept on texting me and whatever, but I'll never respond to her texts or her calls again. Yeah, I know. Like, she really did nigga moved. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so glad that you moved them because, yo. He drove, oh, he drove oh. away, bro. Okay, he yeah. used his petrol, his time. Uh, and Vita yeah. is probably like, I can't wait to see her. Hmm. Just to get the candy. <laughs> Go stay. Nah. Y'all will this learn. This is not funny. This is not Y'all gonna funny. learn. <laughs> Stop traveling for other people's kids. Ah. Tell them to send yeah. money first. Next one. <laughs> when my ex asked me to take a break, because he had to figure out some Christian work, she said. After a few days, he texted me saying he's no longer a virgin. Ooh. Like, the hell? I don't even know why this was necessary, but it hurt me. And it's the fact that he hadn't really spoken up officially. So he really played with my feelings. He drunk texted me saying he regretted leaving me and that we should try getting back together. Emma, wait, before you continue. Bruh. Wait, this guy though. Firstly, he's sorting out Christian stuff. And then then more guy back. drinks. More guy is not only a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Uh, what uh, Jesus are you serving, my guy? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> uh, no, I don't understand. Another ex of mine lied about when he had to get back into the country. He didn't say anything about his whereabouts. So actually, I didn't know if he was coming back to finish his studies or not. Because financially, things were tight at home. When school reopened, he walks in class without even communicating that he was back in the country. I mean, I deserve some sort of explanation, but he never gave it to me. Bruh. Again. The oh. lever, guys. The lever that men have. Yup. I'm so sorry, my like, love. Don't you even think of the other person's emotions, though. Bruh. Ah. But anyways, next one. I left the guy because the relationship was boring. <laughs> <laughs> my oh. g <laughs> real old g man like yeah bruh. Bruh. oh yeah no man some niggas are just boring no cap like also like if it's not serving you why are you staying Bradley. in a boring relationship don't do that to yourself sis yeah don't do that anyways next one uh -huh. my ex started a whole relationship while we're still dating and to top it off it was with another guy Bruh. I win. Ah! What? Hey. <laughs> this really, really hurts. Men's was gay all along. Hello? Okay, I, this is actually not funny. No? I nah, man. Like, bruh. my G. If you is gay, just say it, bruh. Oh. Don't date me, then go date. Bra. Nah, man. Bro. And why do men do this, though? Like. Bra, this hurts. Bra, I'm hurt, bra. Um. Yo. My hey. twist. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <Woo. laughs> ah, that was heavy, bra. Bra, nah, man. I'm so sorry. Next one. She avoided me, ignored me, and acted like I never existed. Left her alone to respect her decision. Now she's following my friends who she has never talked to before. Appearing on people's Instagram stories. She then unblocked me on Instagram, but I'm still blocked on WhatsApp. How long was this relationship? Yes, it's good she left you. This relationship seems like yeah, it was very no. toxic. 
this was really toxic yeah. she avoided me ignored me, me and acted then, like i never existed and then how about she's appearing on people's instagram stories and then unblocked me on instagram but i'm still blocked, blocked me on whatsapp, WhatsApp. hi what's up guys hello uh, 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 don't force that one uh-uh leave it leave it my boy okay so basically uh -huh. he got his ex pregnant right before we started dating but when she approached me she approached me that she was pregnant and she's still dating him but the guy denied everything he even denied her pregnancy you all hey my stupid ass was hopeful so i ignored the whole mess and he told me they went to the hospital to settle the whole drama and that she wasn't pregnant no more yeah so i was happy like okay i still get to be <laughs> with him come on oh guys <laughs> and no more drama oh shame mm, wait a few weeks later i saw the ex-girlfriend pregnant my heart broke shem i ended the whole relationship and now they're happy having their little family though he still calls me occasionally denying and saying he wants to see me man bruh yeah no guys nah, man. Uh, i mean if he can even go to the extent of denying the bruh why would i even mean it if i find out you even denied my pregnancy i'm not staying with you girl i don't even care if you're my baby daddy or whatever you is going you are going bruh you is trash bruh Nah, yeah, man. no. That ain't right, bro. Wanna read this? Okay, this one. My ex decided to break up with me on the day of my birthday. That's the mm. most painful thing ever. Oh, this is so sweet. This is like. <laughs> Babe, why are you laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm actually. It's just. It's uh, such a sweet thing. Now you can just see this person is so innocent. Like. This is such an innocent soul, y'all. Like, people's birthdays are very special to them. You should never do that, okay? Don't break up with people on their birthday because you are ruining their very special day in their life, okay? Yeah, no, this yeah. is. Oh, this is sad, though. This is so sad. But what did you do? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, no. <laughs> But, but what, what did you do for this person to break up with you on your birthday? I swear they could have waited one more day. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. Or maybe not. Maybe they were just really like, I think, or they didn't want to get you a gift. Yeah. Yeah. I think they, they were just running away. away. Like, you know, instead of like saying that I'm broke, I just, just be like, like, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm tired of your shit next one he kept lying to me that his mm -hmm. girlfriend was a friend mm -hmm. and another was his best friend and daughter from high school he kept telling me they're just friends and that they slept together but later realized she was not not the one mind you they still hang out also he just triggered my insecurities and called me childish Woo! never do that relatable whenever <laughs> whenever they have nothing to say to you they call you childish you You're are not so childish, so childish you are not childish just know that you have just hit the right spot matter of fact he's the childish he's childish. One childish. You childish he's childish actually he's the childish one for being friends with people he slept with i don't know about you guys but it's a red flag for me for my boyfriend to tell me he's friends with his ex-girlfriend yeah, no. The truth is, exes always have some shit to do. Bruh. That's the truth. They always get back on something, okay? There is no such thing as we were, we were a couple and now we are come out no, friends no, and we chill friends. almost daily. Nah. Nah, B. Miss me with that. Nah. That's a red flag. Move, sis. The whole relationship went from talking from 2 a.m. to 2 hours in a day to two minutes mm -hmm. huh <laughs> <laughs> to not talking at all Yo, like zero bro. zilch nada come on ghosted each other and that's how things ended you know what you two you two are perfect for each other the fact that y'all both you just gave up on each other and y'all 
both ghost at each other just like that yeah nah, nah it, i don't think it was meant to work yeah man. it was never meant to yeah. to be honestly and i still don't get people who just ghost each other bruh yeah like how do you guys do that how do you just and go you just move? move and you will just move on just like that just how? teach me guys yo please teach me i need those lessons next one <laughs> my ex cheated on me with a close friend and when i heard rumors about them i asked them and they both denied yay but one day i caught them naked in his room yo bro even with a close friend bruh in the deny <laughs> yo no i'm so sorry yeah, for this no. yeah oh. I can't console you. I'm trying. So I'm sad. trying to find the words, but yeah, no. Now nah, this, this, this two, ne? This two really belong together. Like they're so shitty, and they really just deserve to be together. I think it's just worse that they denied it. Yeah, man. Like why no. deny it though? Just, if um, y'all really like each other, then you might as well, you know. Do your thing. Yeah. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. He left me in his apartment and he only came back the next day. Like, what the? Hmm? Just to find out he went to a late. How can you leave me in your apartment and you only come back the next day? Uh uh. The next day. Wait. Yeah. Firstly, why am I in your apartment if you are gonna leave me in your freaking apartment? Bruh. Like, bruh, why bring me to your place if you are leaving? Hey, the disrespect. Yeah, no, man. The audacity. Yeah, no. Just to like, find out. I, I don't right? understand. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> man, I wanna go home. Let me just leave me at my house. You go do your shit with your whoever that person is. Nah, man, this is. Bra, come on. Nah. You are looking me like I'm your prisoner. Bro, I don't get it. Just to go see another lady, bruh. And then when I'm okay, what were you doing? Cooking in that apartment? No. Hey! I know. So sad. Ooh, good to who? <laughs> <laughs> One of my exes cheated on me with a very close friend of mine. Uh -huh. He used to call Bestie. Again. Bestie is a red flag, honey. Red flag. Those bestie things. Well, okay. Right before I left town to attend a family emergency for a weekend, he basically cheated on her right before she left town to attend a family emergency for a weekend. I broke up with him because he didn't deserve a dime like me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, darling. Like, what love it. I love it. Yeah. I love this. You we, are not settling. We, Don't settle for his bullshit, sis. We, Don't settle. We. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have been lucky to have ended most relationships in peace, but I've done some bad things to people. I have cheated on my boyfriend at that time with his brother. Oh! <gasps> After there was a speculation that he was cheating on me with my best friend, which was never true. I broke up with my boyfriend at that time, a day before his birthday. <sighs> yeah, really do this family things? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and she did say she regrets doing that Yo. Yeah. Yeah. at least you're a change person yeah no you know but you know things like this really happen so often because people really really push you to, to such an extent hey, yeah like to your limits bruh people really push you to that extent where you even feel like you need to 
hurt everybody else it's not an excuse but we can't ignore that these things are happening and these things really do happen and the reasons why these things happen is because of that like you really get here like you just can't take it no more yeah yeah i know man i'm just glad that you don't do that no more another one mm -hmm. he slept with my cousin and compared me to her when he was cutting things off oh hell no bruh bruh the audacity yo wait bring it back oh. bring it back oh. <laughs> i'm even itching he slept what? with her cousin and then when he was cutting things off he still dared to compare yeah you are like this and at least she's like this and huh man tag yo no guys you know when Wait, it's what? family ne? no <laughs> no 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 first you don't cheat on someone and then you compare them with that other person bro like how shitty can you be bruh, with your own so cousin so bro how am i supposed to now like live with myself now every time i look at my cousin you have created like some insecurities in me like yeah, that's, really shitty. that's horrible like you nah, nah. Oh, guys you can't do that bruh don't do that man like bruh some things man, no matter even if you like go and apologize for this kind of shit you can never take back the words that never. you said never what oh, man next one I was seeing this girl for like five years. Then she decided to break things off. But that was not really a big deal. I just didn't appreciate the timing and the ways that she used to communicate when breaking up. It was on a Saturday morning while I was doing my laundry. Honestly, I shed tears and I didn't eat. But it wasn't worth it. I later found out from her aunt that she's been seeing some guy guess my time was up man oh, oh bro oh brad you have to put it like that now <laughs> it's so sad bro like, bro, like bro, i'm feeling this guy's emotion bro like sending a virtual hug to you mm. so sorry yeah hey sh next one mm -hmm. It happened to me when I was in grade 10. Okay. My ex fell in love with my best friend. And when I came to know about it, yep. we ended our relationship. And to make the situation worse, he impregnated her. Aww. Bruh. I learned a lot on this one. Yo, Yo bruh, guys. like, it's a best friend, bruh. I Imagine did, me man. Bruh, getting pregnant by your mains, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Next one. It was those days of Corona. Oh, Corona. Corona, <laughs> corona is a problem. Man. During lockdown, I asked for a ride to be dropped off somewhere early in the morning. Then my boyfriend agreed. He was like, okay, fine. I'm going to drop you the following morning. I called to text him, but... I never got a response at all. <laughs> Only for me to get a screenshot from my friend of him flirting and acting all single <laughs> and wanting to meet up with a girl, her friend now, at the same time that he was supposed to pick her up. And at that time, I lost about 1.5k because I was supposed to meet him with a client because I was supposed to meet a client and he thought I wasted his time Bruh. so no. this whole time he was busy asking her friend out and he was supposed to go drop her somewhere but this guy decided huh, nigga, I'm gonna go to your friend and I wanna meet up with your friend and at the same time she's losing a job right like she literally lost a whole client losing 1.5k bruh nah man he should give you that money that nigga was supposed to give you that money and more sissy <gasps> next one she sent her old half naked pictures to my current girlfriend on IG <laughs> my girl yeah. it's up to I you think sis. 
she definitely she probably really loves you guys. Yeah, ne? Because firstly, if y'all are both in those pictures, I ain't going to send my nudes to no other to my ex-boyfriend's current girlfriend, bruh. This girl can literally do anything anything, anything with your pictures. But I know her. <laughs> I understand her. I understand yes. why she did that. why she did that. Is it like he's still hitting us, sis? bro? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no, girl. I salute your strategy, though. <laughs> so this one now. The motherfucker refused to go out with me mm-hmm. on New Year's Eve some years back, and I was like, I go. We then end up bumping into each other, mind you. Mm-hmm. He's with his friend as well as myself. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm happy to see my boo, and I start to hug him and stuff. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. bro. His friends are like. Who's your girlfriend? The one you left at the other club or this one? Mm. Yo. I have these friends. <laughs> Usually guy friends, brah, they just they go along. Just blend and it, he's bruh. like so so This one's ne- they are real ones girl. One. I like this one. Yeah, I know. So the nigga refused to come with me in the first place because he had plans with his other dumpling. <laughs> Yeah, I hope don't go alone. <laughs> Imagine being called a dumpling, bruh. <laughs> yeah, he was cheating on me mm-hmm. with. So, he had plans with his other dumpling who he's cheating with, okay? Oh, wow. The motherfucker had the audacity to call me the next morning and tell me it's up to me if I want to stay or not. Oh, ho. So, that is your comeback? He wanted to have both of us. I was like, fuck it. I'm not that stupid, nor desperate. Nah, Enjoy really. your life, bro. Toodles. So, it was in 2017, mm-hmm. my ex and I went to his friend's place for a party. He was not being himself the whole time. He was in a call a lot. He was on a call. He was on a call a lot during the night. He lost his... Oh. During the night, he lost his phone. Mm-hmm. So, because he was fourth year and he had research, you know, like a research project, Mm -hmm. I offered him my smartphone and I remained with a Tamagotchi. Oh, just stop me. Guys, more girl girl deserves an award for like girlfriend of the year. He used my phone for almost a month Mm -hmm. and he brought it back with everything deleted okay the phone was those small samsung phones when you have pictures they are saved in the gallery and some app called files and i think he didn't know about that app so basically like the phone had a whole backup yeah somewhere somewhere there so i got the phone back and i checked that app and i found some screenshots of him proposing to another girl Telling her that he's all single and some screenshots of him telling his friends that he doesn't love me. I'm oh. too skinny. <gasps> Bruh. I was so hurt. Bruh. Bro. 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 Like. I'm so sorry to say it, but this nigga is trash. Ah. I know he's trash, bruh. Firstly, I give you my phone, bro. The same text, this stupid text that you are sending, they are from my phone. You are using my phone to talk badly about me. Like, how do you, brah, how do you even get it right? Do you even call the skinny? skinny how do you even touch on my body, brah? Brah, like, how do you create insecurities in someone so much? Then why are you with a girl if you don't like skinny girls? Honestly, exactly. why are you dating a skinny girl if you don't like skinny girls? Oh. Okay, next one. Oh. The worst thing is he existed. <laughs> the fact that he exists uh-huh. is the worst. Okay. He put his friends first. Uh-huh. He'd go for weekends with his friends and not even a hi. No. He won't even be like, hi, I left, I'll text you. Nope. And I'll be there thinking, oh, maybe something happened. Then I'd see the snaps. 
and he always lied his way out always he always left me hanging and he was always with his friends he always left me and went to his friends he always had plans for his friends we always had plans but he always went mute after i got ready even then, after she bruh then he only texted later that oh no i had to go get something with my friend bruh. i don't even know why this guy did not date his friends like no no why is this guy in a relationship bruh, like, i don't understand like some of you guys get into relationships i don't know with what expectations or what your ideal of a relationship is hmm. but i think your friends were sufficient enough for you yeah you didn't need a girlfriend i think it's just the idea of being in a relationship people like the idea yeah. of being in a relationship just to be like oh no i'm in a relationship but like you all don't even put effort in that relationship they don't anyways another one mm -hmm. he got another girl pregnant while he was with me child yo <laughs> they shall hurt you sis but love heard uh, they will really do it next one so my ex brought his crush uh -huh. now his girlfriend right. to my room as his friend wait firstly sis <laughs> while you were dating this guy did you know that so he had a girlfriend and then girlfriend knew that babe that girl, man. Bruh, she's my, my crush. <laughs> Bruh. I confronted him and he he apparently wasn't ready for a relationship but just wanted something with no strings attached. So he was practically only sexually attracted to me. Was not about that, so I left. He's now in a very committed relationship with her. I really do appreciate his honesty though but what he did wasn't cute because I actually really liked him uh, yeah. he's a I don't know guys like having the best of both worlds yeah you can't have your cake and eat it okay oh. this other one introduced me to his pretty girl mm -hmm. as a favorite niece <laughs> what? <laughs> like literally family zone. Oh, bra! Like, yo. He'd say she's so pretty and rich in melanin, just like you. You two will love each other at first sight because you match so well. <laughs> every time, every time I went over to his place, I I spoke to the girl over the phone and i really love the kid i mean she's fun and she's smart she addressed me as auntie hey Kanti. whole time it's his own daughter a whole first greater a nigga made me a stepmother <laughs> and since then i never trusted guys who look like saints bruh yo <laughs> these stepmother situations though like at yeah. a young age uh, bruh to a whole grade one child bruh not bruh. even a baby a whole grade one child bruh yo another one he was a cheater obviously but he cheated on me to a point where he impregnated his other girl while with me I forgave him oh it didn't take long then he cheated and impregnated an older woman <laughs> ah when <laughs> hi bomokai can't you problem me how king first of all like bruh ah uh -uh, man. okay not really old but 
would say <laughs> would say a woman in her thirties. Uh, How old is he? In his twenties. In his twenties. Early or late twenties. And he was in his twenties. Wow. Probably early twenties. Bro. So I no. gave up. Yo. Yo, I firstly when I'm a girl you are so sweet. You are so sweet. She even but forgave she forgave me the first time. Those traits. Those Let traits them go. will get you in a lot of yeah. shitty situations, honey. Yeah. No. If a person is wrong then they're just wrong. Mm. There's certain things that you can really forgive. Okay, let me not say there's certain things you can forgive. I mean forgiving is really up to, to you. you. Yeah. But what I'm just trying to say is you really need to be tough, sis, because this kind of world that we're in, they shall play you and they shall hurt you, sis. They work on your weaknesses. Exactly. Okay. Slept with all three of my friends. Yeah. Slept with all three of my friends. Not one, not two. Three of my friends, bruh. How do you sleep with three of my friends, bruh? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, bruh. Huh? Bruh. that's really hurtful, though. Yeah, that's, no, man, you don't yeah. do this, bruh. This one said, Okay, I was the witch in the story because I dumped the guy on a date and left him hanging there. Why? Actually, okay. you know what? We want to know why. We want to know why you dumped him while you guys were on a date. And you left him hanging. Mm. Like, what's the story? What did he do that you actually did that? Why were you the witch? Is it because somebody made you a witch? Did he make you a witch? Mm. Or, like, or you just a just witch? by default? You are just a witch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't understand. Nah, All right, guys. I can you see? Uh, what was the reason, sis? I was at this party. Mm -hmm. He texted me saying he saw me. When I was on my way out, I saw him cuddling some girl. I still stay though. Clown face. <laughs> oh, bruh. <laughs> like, what is it? Funny enough, I feel like, okay, maybe not all of us, but we all have a similar story to tell. Trust me, we have all stayed in some situation where you are like, da, bruh, I just read it. Just dope. Yeah. One, two, check. Check. One.